Welcome to a guide to new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So what do we have in front of us? We have the IT Runner 2623 HD pack. This is by Agra Technic Nord Eiffel. Um, and there's a there's a lot to get through. Um, it differs actually it differs in quite a lot of ways um, from the standard Giants one. Um, there are some parts of this which are very similar and you will recognize instantly but there are other bits of it that are kind of new and uh, I have to say there's a lot in this um, which really I mean the IT runner pack the IT runner trailer was always that kind of Swiss army knife if you bought the trailer and you had all the various different backs on it you could in essence have that and have everything you needed for a farm not necessarily a massive farm obviously you need lorries and stuff like that but if you're running a smaller farm setup you could have an array of these these bits of equipment not too expensive either and kind of do everything without having to have separate trailers so if you're new to the game you may not know what this is all about anyway um, but the IT runner concept being you've got a hook lift trailer with a hook lift every single trailer in the back of it every back on this hooks onto that hook lift and goes onto the trailer so you can pick them up drop them off in fields in the yard wherever um, like I say which means you don't have to have multiple trailers which I think is a brilliant idea what we're going to do is we'll have a quick look in store first at the options then we'll go around and we'll have a look at them kind of in the flesh so to speak and as you've probably seen from the thumbnail there's quite a lot so um, the easiest way of doing this if I go across here to trailers um, they're going to be spread between baling technology and miscellaneous and slurry and um, normal trailers and all over the place um, there'll be some under animals there'll be some under you know, you know all over the place so the easiest way of doing it is to go to the brands on the end find IT runner and just click on that they're all in there apart from one piece of equipment which we'll get to in a bit now the Giants IT Runner stuff I've got installed is this end. So the IT Runner trailer that comes with the Giants uh, mod is the ITR 2633. And that's a triple axle trailer, like so. And you can change the uh, the main colour of that, which is fine. So it's kind of a longer bed to that. And then you've got the skip. You've got a grain container, wood container, bale container, slurry container. So this pack by Agra Technic Nord Eiffel, as you can see, has got a few more options available. So we've got the ITR 2623 HD. So this is the trailer bed in essence. Quite a bit cheaper, 40,000. This one's only a twin axle, not a triple axle. Um, but as far as options go, I just think this is so cool. Um, we can change the main color, which is fair enough. For example, if we went with red, that changes kind of the chassis and all the rest of it. Then we go down to tyre options. We've got trailer bulgs, we've got Michelins, we can go standard and wide. What's really cool is if we go to lizards, we can have tracks. That looks really, really nice. Really nice. So yeah, that's one of the first kind of glaringly obvious changes is obviously wheel configuration is an option. But having a crawler track on there. I like that I like that a lot um, so that's the actual trailer bed itself we've got a skip now I, I'm not going to go through individual slot counts on these again if you're on PC slots are irrelevant to you um, but on console obviously each piece will have a slot count um, when you've bought the first one the slot count then drops so all of these range anywhere between three and six slots and they're all they all vary depending on what they do um, the only one that's a little bit higher we're going to get to in a little bit um, it's a crane arm that's 11 slots but we'll get to that in a little while um, so they're all showing one at the moment because I've already leased one of each of these that's why the slot counts saying one but when you buy the first one it's a little bit higher so anyway so we've got the uh, the skip now the skip's 12,000 litres what I have noticed straight off the bat which is glaringly obvious is that the capacities of them in this pack are smaller than the capacities of the ones in the Giants pack. I think mainly because it's a twin axle trailer which makes it a smaller compact unit and a lot of these are smaller but not all of them because when we move on to the combi container um, we're going to look at these 
on the ground as well. We've got combi container small, medium, large. And then within that, we've got loads of options as well. So we'll just go to the medium one. Uh, but prices, again, 4,500, 5, 5, 6, 5, not anything too drastic or over the top. Um, so when we look in here, we can change the main color, which is fantastic. Um, but we've got a lot of options within those. So we've got small, medium, and large already. And then within that, we can change the platform to that, which has got a loading edge. It's got like a little lip on the edge of it to stop stuff you know, flying off the edges and that sort of thing. I think they all have straps anyway. Um, we can have it for bales with the, the uh, sort of tying things at the back to stop the bales falling off the back. Again, it will have straps, but you can probably put bales on the flatbed without any of that on and still strap it down. Um, we've got the wood trailer one. So the wood goes between. We've got tailboard, which I think it's that's a really nice kind of addition. Like a truck bed kind of thing. You could put loose logs in there or I mean anything you'd like, realistically, anything you want in there. And then we're back to normal platform. So we've got a lot of options within the options we've got already. Um, absolutely fantastic, really, really cool. Uh, we've got the grain container 30 meters cubed which is 30,000 litres. It takes all of those crops there. Uh, I don't think this one has the option to go bigger. So you can already see that one's 30,000 litres. The Giants one is 40... I want to say 45? It's 45 or 48. I can never remember which way around it is because there's a couple of them. Um, so this is 30,000 litres. It's a smaller, more compact unit. Um, but again, really nice bit of kit. Uh, Go across one more. We've got the slurry filled container. Now, filled containers, I think we've got them in game already. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure we have under slurry technology. Yeah, you've got the Garant FRC. That's a 55,000 litre one. And that's a big old unit. And the whole concept of that is you fill it out with slurry, take it out to the field where you're doing your slurrying, drop it off, and then when the slurry spreader is going up and down it can go back to that to refill rather than having to go all the way back to the farm or wherever the slurry point is so that's the concept of it um so the point of it being in here that you've got a smaller kind of portable one that goes on the it runner pack again really cool only eight thousand as well quite a bit cheaper so we've got a couple of options on this one again we can change the color um but we can have it 23 meters cubed or we can have it 31 meters cubed so it's going to take that capacity from 23,000 I'll get that right yep 23,000 up to 31,000 which is pretty good I mean that's going to take you up to 11,500 but for 31,000 litre capacity that's pretty good I have to say again nice additions it's having something a bit different now we've got the roll-off container uh, again these always I say baffle me, but I suppose it is that concept of having different designs of trailer backs. It depends what kind of thing you want to go for. Because we've got the the grain container there, which takes all of those crops and fertilizers and you know all sorts of things in there as well. So this is the roll-off container, which is also 30 meters cubed, which is another 30,000 litre capacity. It takes all the same things. So it's just a case of, you know, or horses for courses, really, whatever you fancy. Um, now this one, again, you can change the main colour, but you've got, it says design colour, and it says IT runner on there. Um, but what you can also do, you can have standard, or they do what's called the tr tyre track edition, which puts those tyre track marks down the side of it. That is what you can change under design colour. So if I wanted to go for yellow on there, it changes that tyre track design to yellow, Oh, it doesn't change the IT run logo, but yeah, so it does that. That's what the design does. Um, there's no capacity option other, other than that. It's just 30,000 litres. Um, next up, we've got the slurry container. So we've got the slurry filled container, and this is a, a closed-in slurry container, more like a tanker unit for transporting batteries and forwards, but this can also be dropped off by the field, and you can go and you can fill up your slurry or digestate into your slurry spreader from that. This, I think, though, can be used as a slurry spreader. This is a filled container. This one, because it does say width 12 metres, can actually be used as a slurry spreader. Because that bit, that nozzle on the back will move from side to side. So, actually, this might not be able to be used as a field tank then. This might literally just be the slurry spreader. Anyway, 
Right, so that's your slurry container. Again, you can change the color on that. That's got a capacity of 12,000 liters. The Giants one has got a larger capacity, I think. Uh, which one's that? 15,000 litres, it's only 3,000 litres more. Um, but it does exactly the same thing, really. Whoops, wrong way. Um, so that's your slurry container. And then you've got a bulk cargo container. Again, takes all the same things as the previous two, the roll-off container and the grain container. So it's just another option, again, a slightly different design. Um, this one, again, we can change the main colour, but we have got another option on this, which is quite nice. Um, we can have this on short, we can have it middle or we can have it long the capacity changes from i'm trying to remember let's go back to short it's eighteen thousand, then twenty five thousand, then twenty eight thousand liters and you can have it standard or you can have it tire track edition and again if we go across you can change the design color for your tire tracks on the side if you want the tire track edition so the, again the option with this is you can go various different sizes even the large size on this one 28,000 is smaller than these ones which are 30,000 so yeah you're not going to get anything bigger than 30,000 on that which moves us on to our next one we've got liquid tanks now the reason I've gone into IT runner on here uh, onto the brands because they're all in one place is this actually is in the miscellaneous section I was, I was struggling to find it under the normal section in here and it's actually a miscellaneous so doing it from brands is just a much easier way of finding it um, so we've got liquid tanks and we've got again main color design color we can have the uh, the tire track edition which puts the tire track right down the side um, but we've got options here we can have a fuel trailer water trailer liquid fertilizer or herbicide and what that does to make life a lot easier as well on the back it gives you each of those symbols if i go out to fuel and then water and yeah so it's really cool like that then we've got a vehicle platform now the vehicle platform is a is very similar to the flatbed option here but then you can put it onto um that one there the tailboard so it's it's very much like that but obviously there's no other option other than that and this is supposed to be for transporting vehicles so i, I don't I assume we're going to check in a minute actually and see if it's got straps but generally speaking you can't strap down vehicles on trailers so i don't know if it's going to have a lot like a locking script on it to stop tra uh, vehicles moving around uh we will see and then lastly we've got the milk tank I say lastly, not quite lastly. We've got the milk tank. So the milk tank tanks 8,000 litres. Again, it's not really any bigger capacity than the ones we've got in game. Oh, hang on. One of them's... I'm sure it's 8,000, is it? We'll have a look again. Um, but options here, we can change it from chrome to stainless steel to black. Whichever you'd rather have. Um, but I, th I think, again, rather than having loads and loads of separate trailers, it's cool to have that IT runner trailer bed and then when you're transporting your milk when you're done with it drop it off and you can put a different back on it and go and do something else and you know that's why it's that kind of multi-tool swiss army knife of uh of equipment so lastly in this thing it's not under the it runner pack i had to go to forestry to find this no was it forestry or miscellaneous it might be miscellaneous as well actually uh yes it is so there's the it runner liquid tank next one over you've got the palfinger q17z um which is a crane arm and that goes onto a three-point linkage and that has also on the back of it got a, a trailer hitch which means you can have that on the back of your tractor and then also have the it runner on the back so if you're running um, a wood trailer on the back of it timber trailer you can then have the crane to load into it or if you wanted to just have a normal trailer dropped off somewhere and just have this on the back so this comes as kind of part of uh part of the pack that one is 11 slots so that's the one that was a little bit higher but very very cool bit of kit so let's whiz around and have a quick look at these then so this is the skip very much like the one that we've kind of got already with the giants one and what i've done is i've separated these out to show you the different kind of size options this is that the flatbed container uh i want to get the name right i don't want to get that wrong combi container so that's the combi container small that's the shorter one then you've got the combi container medium or middle 
which is slightly longer and then you've got the large which is even longer still now some of these the longer ones you may be better off using the giants it runner trailer the triple axle because it's longer this will go on the, the one from this pack of course it will the double axle um and these will also work on the it runner the man it runner truck as well I've tried that out as, as well already so that's your small medium and large on the flatbeds so the other options that we looked at in the store were you've got the flatbed option you've got the option with the lip which just kind of runs around the edge there which you can see in a little bit more detail uh, then you've got the bale one with the tines at the back again let's say straps on these straps don't go all the way to the back there i think probably because i'm not sure how many bales you're getting onto that then we've got the wood version and then we've got the like the tail lift tail back version on that so you can put any kind of loose items but i think that has straps as well there you go look so you can strap stuff down as well you don't really need to i mean you could put bales on this one if you wanted to because it does have straps too so you know again it's just if you're going for more realism and you want to have it look in a certain way for a particular job or you might say you know what i'll just go with that and i know i can put whatever i want on it obviously logs is going to be a bit trickier on that that's probably why you're going to go for this one uh right so then moving onwards we have got that's grain container just a shorter kind of stubbier version of the uh the giants one that's your slurry filled tank and that's the longer one that one the detail on these is all very very good very crisp very clean very tidy very very nice mods that's your uh roll off container with the tyre track design down the side in Mr. Silly P Green, obviously. Um, and then over here we've got the slurry spreader, and that's what I was talking about. This is this is the one that's 12,000 litres that comes in this pack. I've gone for crimson. Don't often go for that colour. Maroon, burgundy, something like that. So there's your actual slurry spreader head. So that will move from side to side and send your slurry out wherever. Um, and this is the bulk container one so let's say they are slightly different the grain one the roll-off one and the bulk one but in essence they all three of those do the same job really not much difference in that at all now here we kind of looked at this in store anyway i know we've kind of looked at all these already um but like i say to get a little bit closer in on them very very like I say no blur very very cool bits of kit so that one there is your fuel it's got it on the side there as well as on the back that's your fuel one then you've got the one for water liquid fertilizer just there and your herbicide one just there very nice indeed uh now what we need to do is go around the front because the front is where i've actually got the hookups now again this is um I haven't obviously filled any of these up. I haven't gone and filled up the, the, the filled container with slurry. Um, we might try that in a second. Right, so this is actually the, um, the 2623 um, IT runner bed itself. And this one I've got with the crawl track simply because I just think that looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the Giants one is over the back there with the triple axle. So this is the one that comes in this pack. This is the Power Finger Crane. That goes with it three point linkage on this side that hooks up to the back of the tractor and then your uh um mine's gone blank trailer hitch is the word i'm looking for on the back there so i so say you can just run this on the back of a tractor you don't have to have it with a trailer on the back um but very cool bit of kit and then we've got the uh milk tank eight thousand liter oh i was gonna look at that wasn't i let's very quickly um go to animals um, where is it yeah that one's 8,000 litre as well and the point being that one's 8,000 litre but it's 25,000 to buy um, it does say it does water as well actually I don't need to check the other one um, so once you've got the IT on a bed it's cheaper to buy the backs you're going to get the same capacity so it kind of makes sense really um, I don't think it does water as well does it, this one no that one just does milk so I suppose the only option difference being that that one will do but look at the price difference that's only seven thousand so not bad and then this is the vehicle bed back 
Um, this one I'm going to test in a second because I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming it has a locking script. We shall see. Right, so let's grab a tractor very, very quickly. I mean, in essence, that's, you know, that's it. But I have this on the tracks. So I only went with the blue because it matched the New Holland, but um, very smooth action as you'd expect. I mean, the animations and stuff pretty much nailed down now, aren't they? So what I'm going to do is grab the vehicle. I might fill up the slurry one, actually, and just see. So with a bit of weight in it, see how it handles, make sure there's no movement and that kind of thing. But I say it's hard. I can't really test every single trailer back bed. I've had a look at all of them. Now, what we can do with this one as well, which is quite cool, we load that up. open up this menu help window so what we can do on this one is here zoom in a little bit if I press L1 and then do my right stick I can open up the side panel that one there if I do R1 and then right stick I can open up that side and if I do L1 R1 and go up and down I can raise and lower tail section. Now this is slightly different to the version over here. This one here. When you hook up to this one it only gives the option to open, like when you open a cover. When you click open cover all three go down at the same time. You can't do them independently on this one. So that's the big difference between this one as part of this kind of combi container pack and the actual vehicle one. Um, so what we'll do is pull forward. Actually, uh, first, ignore the person walking through the trailer. Don't like that. We'll ignore that for the moment. <laughs> I was just curious. Obviously, it's going to depend on the uh, axle width of the vehicle, whatever it might be. But because you do, even when you put the backs down, you do have a couple of little pillars. So I don't know if this is even going to fit in here. I know on there's a little video on the mod hub that shows this. Oh, just, cool. just about. <laughs> okay. This doesn't have straps. It does have straps. But like I say they're going to be irrelevant for a vehicle because they don't strap over a vehicle. I really wish they did. I really wish that had been sorted by now. You click a strap and it just straps over the top of the vehicle. It's not going to make a huge amount of difference, but so I'm wondering now whether this strap is going to fall out or whether there's a lock-in script. So let's load the container. Considering it's designed for transporting vehicles. Close that back up. Not bad, not bad at all. I like that. That's a very cool bit of kit, that. Very, very cool. Let's see if we can get any movement on this. Often you find pulling away, accelerating, or braking, you get movement of the vehicle in the back. Nope, nothing. So I'm assuming it's got a locking script for vehicles on it, which is going to be rather handy. So, right, let's drop off that container. No, wrong one. It's better. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do first is go and grab this very, very quickly. So, that's the crane on the back. Now you can operate this just like this, independently. If you've got a trailer over where you're wherever you're doing logging, you can take this over if you want to. Um, if I unfold it, 
those go out just like it does in the man tgx really unfolds itself it's you know it's the same crane and we've got our same operations up and down in and out all of these side to side and then we've got our uh, open and close and then we've got our rotate head as well so that's your crane arm fold that back up again With the trailer hitch on the back, it does mean we can just hook back up to the IT runner. And if I can find it, where do I put it? As an example, doesn't matter. You could do it on the, the uh, one just there with the, the uh, tail back, or you can do it with the log container. It doesn't matter which one. I've got it lined up. Yes, yeah, right. At the right one, there we go. And there you've got your login set up if you're going to do it like that. Which again, really cool. I like that. Let's just move that out of the way. There we go. It's a trouble when you've got multiple things hooked on the back, bouncing between select tool and getting all of the right ones now. I just want to show you very, very quickly this one, what I meant earlier. Well, I think I can probably do it on the ground actually. So this one, if I do L1, it doesn't give me the option to, um, to do them independently. All it gives me is the option to open cover which does all three at the same time and obviously that needs to be off the ground so uh, let's load the container first now again only one thing I did notice with this slight tiny tiny thing um, because you've got tracks on this one and not wheels if I do that option now open cover the cover clips into the uh, into the tracks so you look at that open now that's kind of gone into the tracks it's a minor thing but it's yeah it does do it it's there it's kind of obvious it's there um, but that's yeah so you can't do those independently on this particular one but again having having them able to open and close I think is fantastic for loading unloading whatever you're doing very very cool indeed right so move that out of the way and lastly I'll try the slurry tanker I don't think it's not going to make any difference really we just moved one with a, tra uh, a tractor on the back and that worked fine but I'll leave the uh, crane on the back, it just seems there's no point taking it off. Right, so swing around, and then lastly, then let's do slow tanker. So, what I'm going to do very, very quickly is because I've got the larger of the two options of this one, you can see it's a bit longer kind of hangs quite a bit over the back um, if you put up next to I'm holding up oh because they're going to the wrong thing if we put up next to the Giants IT runner you'll see the difference in length if I get that axle there line that up you can see that if this this one here this longer back was on the Giants version it would sit pretty much flush with the back of there so that's what I mean some of the longer versions that you can get in this pack would probably work better on this one 
the 2633 rather than the 2623 but it still works it's not like it's why go into the crane that's why i'm going to the crane aren't i not the tractor there we go So, start filling, slurry. You don't have to have a slurry, like a filling station, if you've got enough slurry at the farm that your pigs have made or your cows have made. You fill it up from there. 31,000 litres. So, if we get the movement in the turn, we can that. Right. Sometimes with the IT run backs you do have an issue that the, the actual back can move around and it looks a bit kind of unsightly and ungainly but that seems to be working just fine. So what I will do is unload that. We'll see if it unloads okay when it's fully loaded. Absolutely fine. And there we have it. Now I dare say, I dare say I've missed something because there's a lot of stuff in this pack. Um, there will be something lurking somewhere in a menu somewhere that I've missed. Um, I think I got it all because I went into the IT runner, the brands, rather than going in for all the various different options and yes I'm, I haven't shown you every single piece being picked up being put on the back loaded with logs bales on the back all that kind of thing if I did this kind of guide too would be like you know an hour and a half long it's long enough as it is I'm sure some people will say that anyway um, but that being said um, that's it I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. Fantastic mod pack from Agrotechnic um, Nordifel. Very cool indeed. Um, if you have found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.